This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin tonight with breaking news. A wildfire tearing through brush on the hills above Lake Elsinore, forcing evacuations tonight. This is new video of what they're calling the Macy Fire. It's just in from the scene now. It shows structures burning, and we're working to get details on what has actually burned. We're also being told one firefighter is being treated for an unspecified injury. Fire crews say the fire was first reported just before 6 p.m. in the area of Macy and Orange Streets in the El Cariso neighborhood. It's now grown to more than 130 acres. Evacuations are happening right now in the area south of Grand Avenue, south of Orange Street, and west of Ortega Highway. Elsinore High School has been established as an evacuation center. And both people and pets are being forced to evacuate because of the fire burning dangerously close to homes. This is uh, the scene tonight. Video of a dog near the fire zone. Thankfully, it was reunited with its owner after getting close to those flames. The fire was really close to us, and then we came down and tried to find, we let our dogs out so, like, nothing would happen to our house. Yeah, we don't have enough time. for now, I think the firefighters have stopped it, so that's good, but, um... I mean, we're still shaking up. Somebody get that dog some water. Water dropping helicopters and Cal Fire air tankers are making drops for the protection of homes in the fire's path, and they are making progress. The helicopters will be working through the night. We will be closely monitoring the firefight, and we'll bring you any updates as we get them. Firefighters have finally knocked down that challenging fire burning through a Lancaster recycling yard, but not before a fierce battle that raged for hours. At least 1,500 cars went up in flames, sending thick smoke into the air. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher, live now with brand new details about what may have caused all of this. Michelle. Mark, that's right. We are hearing from L.A. County Fire that says early indications is that there was a malfunctioning hydraulic car crusher working on the property this afternoon when that fire broke out, causing all of this. I'll step out of the way so you can see what's happening behind me. Still tonight, some smoke here, but it is clear and white. Also, a bit of flames there. This is a much different story and visual than at the height of this fire this afternoon.